Right, this is just a quick tutorial of how to actually plan a literary mission using Google Earth and it has a few few little advantages. Um, so what we're going to do is show you basically what you have to do first is you actually have to draw what's known as a path in Google Earth which is this icon up here. So if you click on that, that will then bring up this dialog here. So I'm going to first give it a name. So now the first thing I find to do is once you've given it a name is I just do my first waypoint. Um, so I'm just going to start off this path down here. So there we go. Right, I've just dragged that dialog box back into view. Right, now that we've got that, the next thing to do is go to altitude and set it <coughs> relative to ground. Now what this does is it will always keep it the same height above the ground. So I'm going to set it at 80 meters and also select extend path to ground, which you'll see why in a minute. Uh, style color, we're going to, I've already set it to red. This is what I call the curtain, the line that comes down from where it is to the ground. I'm going to make it light blue. I'm going to make it slightly transparent by taking it down to say 70% or so like so. Okay, and we keep this box now open. Um, I'll just drag it back out of the way. And now I'm just going to, using my left mouse button, just start actually drawing the mission. Um, now, one of the advantages also of this is you can draw more than 15 waypoints. Now, this uh, woods I'm going over here is quite high in altitude. So, the idea being is as the drone goes out here across the top, it's going to actually increase its altitude relative to the ground. Now, obviously, this has to be used with caution because things like antennas or a building or a huge tall tree, it doesn't take that into, it, into account. This is working purely on ground level. And then we're just going to bring it back over here. And then we we'll bring it back down this side of the woods. It will start dropping. The woods sort of starts to tail off here in altitude and we'll come back to long here like so and say to our last waypoint just close to where we started um, now once you've done that you can then once you've finished you can then obviously just click OK just to sort of show you uh, what it looks like I will actually um, tilt the map and actually show you what the end result looks like. So we'll give it a bit more tilt. Right, so there's our mission. Yep, up and across the woods like so. Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, over here, you can see on the, you can just right click that. And save place as and I'm going to save it as and what is important here is to select um, KML not KMZ like that so it does that automatically I'm already in the right folder and click save right that's it we're done with the uh, Google Earth side of things so I'm going to close uh, Google Earth down right now we're going to go into uh, Litchi Mission Hub like so which I've already got it in the right place. Um, and in here, what we're going to do is we're going to um, go into missions, import. I've already got the file name there, import new mission. Might have to choose the file again, obviously, by the looks of it. Never mind. Uh, there we go. Right. And there we go. And as you can see, um, the great thing with this is, well, a little bit too far out there, never mind. Um, what you can see here is it automatically is increasing the altitude as it goes up the hill. See the highest we see, so there we've got figures like uh, 270. But you'll see they vary slightly. 
and that's because it's actually varying with the um, the ground latitude. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck. Obviously, last word of warning, use with caution. You still have to manually check things in Litchi Mission Hub before you uh, actually go and fly the mission. Thanks.